All right, just parking in the dirt parking. Just got to the Santa Clara gem show and gonna go on in. Oh, but there's rocks in the parking lot. Maybe we'll do some uh, rock hunting in the lot as we go in, right? Hey, look, I found a fossil. It's a screw. Look at that, an ancient fossilized screw. How cool. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Actually, there was kind of a cool rock on the ground. Some horn blend. There you go, look at some pretty rocks. Okay, we're here. There's a little bit of a line to get in. And go in and look at some pretty rocks. See once we get through that little line. All right, we're here at the first booth that I stopped at and I'm gonna cover their phone number for privacy reasons, but you can check them out on Instagram. Richard and Cheryl Sitting Sittinger? Should have asked them how to pronounce it. <laughs> Richard at wonderworksminerals.com But we're going to go ahead and look at a few things at their booth here. So they've got all sorts of bracelets, which I know some of you love the beads and the bracelets. Some tourmaline chunks. Not polished ones, that's all new. Got some wands. There's a blue lace wand. <laughs> Ooh, now here's what I like. I'm not big on towers, but I do like the fluorite towers quite a bit. gorgeous are the tourmaline that's a lot of fun there's a few towers I do like so I got a few more fluorite towers here I guess I'll pull out my black light in a minute and we'll take another look at those got a bunch of pendants yeah I used to work at a casino that's really cool. Check out the amethyst. I like these ones. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, there's a rainbow flash in that one. A little bit up there. That is gorgeous. We got some azurite and malachite pendants. The light is not liking those very much. The camera is not looking quite right. Those ones are just so dark, they don't show as well. We got some pretty ocean jasper ones here. Got some serpentinite pendants. Look at the shine in those serpentinite. <laughs> Interesting. I really do like the pattern in those. Here we've got some lovely rainbow moonstone pendants that they have. Yep, one for Very Faceted floor, I know. That's cool. And here he's got some native copper from northern Michigan. Those are really cool. Those are pretty big too. Very nice size there. That is huge. Look at this. Great hematite and mica from northern Michigan. Very cool. 
That's a beautiful one. Quartz on hematite with rutile from Brazil. Very nice. I really like the hematite on there. And you know I'm a sucker for rutile. Yes. Got a big old smoky here too. Ooh, still bite. Still bite? Oh, we got a still bite here. Very cool. Some Canadian gypsum. Really cool gypsum blades. It's got some sardonyx from India and rose quartz from Africa, rainbow fluorite from China, some Australian rainforest jasper. Oh, some new kite. Those are very nicely polished. Great polish on those. Alright, so now we are at Earth's Treasures. They specialize in fine minerals and rare gemstones. And that is not a lie. They've got some very beautiful stuff here. First off, this scepter from Nevada. That caught my eye when I walked up. It is amazing. And so did this vanadinite. While it's not as clear and gemmy as some you see, I really like the dark color. The level of opacity is semi-transparent. Oh, I like it. I actually like it quite a bit. Got a lot of nice specimens in here. Gorgeous amethyst. Got a nice tourmaline. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice tanzanite. Come on over. Got some gold nuggies here. They've got some very unique shapes to them. So many things to look at. We got a lot. That's ooh, look at that topaz. That is a nice topaz. I guess we skipped the barrel, chryso barrel. It's hard to see in the camera though. Neptunite. Well, that's an interesting one. Can't say I've heard that name before. Gorgeous stuff he's got. When he's not busy, we'll do a little interview with him. He said, uh, once he's done chatting with people, we'll give you guys a little bit of an interview. And then get to meet see, the guy. You know, I mean, these, these veins are so We're gonna check out a few things till then. That I don't know what you're gonna get under, but sometimes what happens is the crystals, when they don't have enough room to grow, they spread. Mm -hmm. So as a fluorescent specimen, once that's done, it could be fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice garnet. Wow. Oh, spacer, spacer teen garnet. Nice appetite. Ferberite. Is that what they make Furbies out of? Well, that's an interesting topaz.
come back over here. What's this? Seattle Mineral Market. Looks like that's another show going on. Maybe another show they're going to go to. So here we've got some amethyst and quartz from Georgia. Some beautiful pieces there. What we got here is zunite. Some nice little pyramidal and starburst zunite. Oh, look at that fluorite glow. Woo. Look at that. It's just popping in the UV. That is so Gorgeous fluorite. Look at those cubes. Here we've got some galena in fluorite. That's nice. Oh, I love that pop. Yeah. I thought you might. Yeah. Did you, did you made it last night? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sal. Good to see you. Gorgeous azure. That finally worked. No, I think you'd be fun to win some. I don't really care when we were. Okay, holy cow. We came a little further back in here and wowza. Huh. We might have to take this one out of the box. I was trying to just film it in the UV and it's, well, there we go. It's a little much. It's not really picking up UV because the fuzz in the background is too much. That is gorgeous.
so many cool things to look at. I don't think we can show it all. There's just too much, too many pretties. I'm gonna pick out some of the best. Like, oh my gosh, that Stib Knight. What? Look at that Stib Knight, that is gorgeous. Alright, we're gonna be on a little Stib Knight hunt here now. Look at this one. Ooh, I wanna touch it, but I don't. box specimens. Here we've got JC Crystals and more, but we actually showed them off in our last gem show video because they were at the Vallejo gem show. So we're gonna skip over this one mostly today. We're just gonna take another quick peek at the fluorite here because I love the fluorite. Oh. And we had that whole debate on the shape of this last time. Love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I have some bigger ones. Okay, so these ones are 90 grand. Here he's got the bigger, much bigger chunks. Whoa, what kind of... What? What am I even seeing right now? That green aura flash, that is a weird flash of green. It's not just the camera playing tricks there. At that angle, it's more natural looking, but from this angle, it gets all blurry. Oh, I think it's the, because of the fracture. Okay, it's because of the micro fractures. Oh, yeah. I'm taking little hands to identify some rocks by the No, not that one. Don't, no, not that one. Not that one, don't. Don't look that one. Wow, look at that. Now that is a nice pattern. That's funny. 
box here that is a huge huge flora it is deep back in that box and that is yeah, nearly as wide as my head crazy big piece look at that rotocrosite Pretty goodies here. Wow, look at that gold. Focus for me. Okay, so there's a handful of these little personal collection things. This one is full of the Virgin Valley, Nevada wood opal. So it's that precious Nevada opal. Um, but I just noticed something really cool. Glow rocks? Glow room? Let's go. That's a really bright soda light. Yeah. 
And we got some Wernerite. Very similar to the Willamite. It's from Quebec, Canada. So is the Sodalite. No, no, I'm, I'm reading this, by the way. <laughs> and we got Fluorite from Mexico. And then that top row there is some common opal from Nevada. I assume it's not precious because you wouldn't put it in the UV display like this. Gorgeous. Let's check out, we got three more. So here we've got a little before and after. That's really cool. Got bin down here for people who bring their own fluorescent lights. You can look at some other extra goodies here. Look at that. That one has some wild color. Oh, nice fortifications too that are ooh, gorgeous. What is this random bin of rocks here? I wish that was for sale. Check out this other one. The people in the background got kind of loud at this part, so I did mute it, but look at this amazing halite, or halite, however you want to say it. That crazy orange is one of those salt crystals. Way cool. I'm not sure what a lot of these are, because I couldn't read the labels.
Hallelujah Junction, Nevada. Look at those scepters. Holy cow, y'all. Did that just get added to my rock counting list? Can we dig these up ourselves? Is this, is this somewhere we're allowed to go dig? All right, help me out, y'all. Can we go dig these scepters? I might research it by the time this video comes out, but holy cow. I would love to go find some of those. Those are huge. <laughs> the size of that dino bone. The green? That is a chunker. But this here, the black or these sticks, is magnetized. Some UV on there? And magnetized. Oh, yeah. Where you get the magnetized. Really, really cool. It's a touch and feel table. This is where you can come look at all sorts of stuff. Got some big old fossils, the dino bone I just showed you, the size of this amethyst lace. That's gorgeous. Ooh, look at that verisite. Now that is a chunker of verisite. Some Benatoy. This toy has been a toy. <laughs> Jokes. Spider Man Jasper. It's a nice size. Cindy. got a whole bunch of really cool little micro mounts here and they had some nice little stib nights so I I did a thing and I got some stib night because I couldn't help it it's a big show it's a we had quite a few sellers just got done at the gym show and can't get away from the pretty rocks <laughs> All right, so these are the goodies that I picked up from the gem show. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure these were from the gem show and not the club. They were sitting with my gem show things, and I'm pretty sure I got them at a booth that were like 50 cent slabs, but I forgot to show that. And they had a few little pieces there. I was like, they were end cut slabs for like 50 cents. And this one still has plenty of cabable material right there. And it's got really nice UV, so I grabbed that one, and I grabbed this end piece because <laughs> that is plenty of material to work with, and it's one of my favorites. It's hard to tell, but some of this right here gives it away, and right up here kind of gives it away. At least I'm fairly certain I could be wrong but I believe this to be the La Riviera rooster tail plume agate or very very similar it's got a little bit of that rooster tail plume right there but not a lot of it I've had some pieces that have tons of it going through and then lots of this kind of stuff this one seems to have very little of that rooster tail pattern I at least think it's similar it may not be that but it's a beautiful one that's dry and look at that color Look at these in the UV and get them wet, and I'll show you these other specimens. All right, look at that thing once I put a little bit of water on it. The color is just stunning. It pops. It's got so much going on in it. A little bit of fortification banding right there. 
We'll go look up here at the rooster tail plumes. A lot of cloudy plumes in it. Again, just a touch of that down there. Whew, look at that though. Little betroidals trapped down in there, just a little bit. Kind of one right there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tiny fortifications. Do you understand how tiny that is? Look at that. Okay, get stuck on that one all day. So, I'll move on to the other ones, and then we'll look at them all in the UV. These were in a mystery box, and they were like, I think the same as this one. They were like 50 cents or something. First look at that, I assumed it's fluorite. Feels really light though. It's got that kind of shape actually, like the halite. It's very lightweight too. Look at that. You can see cube shapes in the cube. We'll test it. It could be halite, like the salt crystals. We'll look at it in the UV in a second. This one though is fluorite. And it's got a little bit of uh, steps right there. A little dirty, sorry about that. Let me clean that off. Okay, it may not be perfect, but I cleaned some of the stuff off. It needs a real cleaning. <laughs> you can see the nice fluorite steps there. This one's really cool in the UV. Then there was this one, a definite mystery. This one, I think, is calcite and, oh, what's that one? Looks kind of like those still bite crystals we were looking at, right? Also, the way it fans out like this reminds me of pectolites. Maybe it's a type of calcite. I don't know. We might need to try and figure that one out in a future video or live. See if other people know what this could be. I saved my favorite for last, as you can see in the background. And can maybe also hear in the background some thunder. I was actually just out recording the lightning. Got some cool slow-mo shots. But this looks kind of like lightning. <laughs> Some really nice Stibnite from China. I took this one off so that I could mount it on here. Do a little bit of a micro mount and just, I don't know, maybe glue it on or put a little bit of that putty right there and just have that on my display like that. It's one of the countertop cores. Yeah, I thought those were pretty cool, so I ended up picking them up. Sorry, they are a little gross in their containers. They travel around from show to show, got dirt, dust, and hair in them. I'm not sure how to clean these up if you really can at all. Oh, that's some nice thunder right there. Oh, that one shook the apartment. Wow. 
feel like I need to get back outside and record some more. Oh, fragile. Little tiny piece has fallen off. This one's really cool. It's got a little hair stuck on it. All right, so I pulled a bunch of fuzz out of that one. It looked to be not actually like hairs, but maybe some of the packing material they had it in. I don't know. Oh, look at that one. That one's really cool. I like the way you can play with the light up and down. It's so hard to hold it still when I'm that close. <laughs> Holding my breath, trying not to wiggle. Looks like it just peels off of there. Little needles peel off, fall over, and get stuck, maybe? Maybe new ones do grow off where it gets... I don't know. Some of them grow, some of them fall. Very interesting. It's like, uh... Mineral cactus. <laughs> Minecraft cactus. Now, here's that unknown one that I said could be fluorite or halite. I'm not sure if it's the salt or fluorite. Can't tell if that's something on it from them mounting it, like a little glue on there. We'll do some scratch tests on that one and figure that out. Then we've got the fluorite. Holy cow, look at that thing. That is awesome. That one I know is fluorite. <laughs> Watch, someone's gonna tell me it's blue calcite and I'm colorblind. The guy said he was pretty sure this was fluorite, but it was just in a little mystery pile. And I thought it looked like fluorite. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm totally wrong, and that's blue calcite. I don't have uh, 
my other set of eyes here. She's out shopping, so I can't ask her what color this is. <laughs> All right, so then... And we've got that big, nice agate. This one's a glower. Oh, wow. That lightning is shaking my windows. <laughs> That was a big double bang. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, okay. I got. Oh, I just saw another flash out the window. All right, we're gonna check out this last rock, and I'm gonna go back to enjoying this lightning storm because it is awesome. Ooh, but so is this rock. pieces get a better look in the uv atom and all that be sure to be subscribed and we'll see y'all on the next live or video where we end up checking these out maybe cut into some of them and uh yeah see where we go from there i hope you all enjoyed this long long video it was a lot of stuff to look at at the gem show but you know i didn't really want to cut any more stuff out than i had to so we'll see you on the next gem show video or lapidary video whatever that might be big thanks as always to all of my patreon members and my channel members you guys make all of this worth it but i gotta take off go enjoy some of this lightning maybe put a slow-mo clip or two right here of some of it later